Hello oh friends, welcome to MS Update Webcast and uh, in this video demonstration we will learn the basics of NTFS files and folder permission. So let's discuss what is NTFS permission. So NTFS permissions uh, can be applied to files folders and drive formatted with NTFS file system. NTFS permissions are the same since the release of uh, Windows Server 2000. It will use to control the access of files and folders in NTFS formatted partitions and NTFS permissions are once applied is effective for both network user as well as local users. So in this video demonstration we will learn about basics of uh, NTFS files and folders permission in Windows Server 2002. Two important rules for uh, NTFS permissions are first by default the permissions are inherited from the parent folders. So suppose if we have a E drive and under E drive we have a marketing data folder. So the permissions of the E drive will be inherited on a marketing data. Let's see that. Right click on it marketing data, see the properties, click on the security, click on the advanced and here you can see the permission is inheriting from E drive. Second, but if you define the files or folder permission explicitly the explicit permission takes precedence over those that are inherited from the parent folder. If the folders have a conflicting NTFS permission, deny permission will override conflicting permissions. So for example, a user is explicitly denied to the access to the folder called uh, marketing data. The user is also a member of marketing group and the marketing group has explicitly allowed NTFS permission. In that case, the user will be denied to access the folder because the deny permission will override conflicting allow permission. So the order of uh, NTFS permissions applying is first explicit deny, explicit allow, inherited denied and inherited allow. So make sure you assign the permission in a proper way. So to configure NTFS permission uh, for the folders or files, uh, let's see, we have a scenario under Active Directory, we have a, a group marketing users, we have a user Rakesh Patel and the user is a member of the other group marketing user and already I created a folder named marketing data and let's see the property of that folder. Here we have a security tab. Now we want that this folder is uh, only uh, accessible for marketing users and by default we have a users uh, is also there and that is the built-in proof for uh, Active Directory that is uh, domain users by default everyone is a part of this group so that's why uh, I'm going to remove it so if we select users and if you try to remove it you can't remove users because the permission is actually inheriting from the parent folder so first we have to disable the inheritance and to do that click on disable inheritance it will ask you what would you like to do with the current inherited permission let's select convert inherited permissions into explicit permission on this object and then remove the users entry okay now we have only three entry for administrator for system and for creator owner click on apply okay and here now as you are seeing we have only three records now let's again click on edit click on add and we want to add a marketing users group click on ok and we want to assign the permission read and execute list folder contain enter the data let's apply ok and that's done click on advance and uh, here we have uh, effective access so under that currently the administrator is the owner of that uh, folder and we want to check the permission with the user so that's why I'm going to select the user and the username is Rakesh Patel click on OK and so include group membership for this click on view effective access and as you are seeing user do not have a full control uh, user have a traverse folder and execute file permission user can list the folders and read the data user can read the attributes and uh, user can read the extended attributes and user can also read the permission so click on ok
So this is the how you can uh, configure NTFS permission in files and folders or drives. NTFS permission and shared permissions are different entities. Shared folder permission is only effective while accessing the files or folders from a network. But the NTFS permission is effective in both cases, whether the local or network access of a files or folders. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.